What's up guys, I'm back. I was out of town, didn't have good Wi-Fi, but here is your Bitcoin update. We're gonna look at the Dow Jones, DXY, gold, and Bitcoin. We're gonna take a look at the next Bitcoin short-term move, along with looking at the macro, looking at the bullish and bearish case scenario. So stick around for the whole video. Don't forget we have a free Discord in the link below, and let's get into it. All right, guys, as always, this is not financial advice, trading advice, nor is it investment advice. There's a disclaimer scrolling down the bottom. Make sure you read it. And don't forget, we're doing a free Ledger Nano S giveaway at the end of this video. And if you want to enter next week's chance to win, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Tick the notification bell to get you notified when I post videos. Smash that thumbs up and leave your comment below. That will get you entered to win next week's giveaway. All right, looking at the fear and greed index, we are at extreme greed and 94. We raised or we lowered one point from yesterday. Um, we're going to take a look at the Dow real quick. So the Dow does seem to be continue making new all time highs. And we've had this target up here of around 30,760, somewhere in that range. That's the area to watch. I do expect a rejection if we get up to this trend line. If not, if we break through it. Everything changes. Obviously, these markets have been extremely crazy, but we're going to keep an eye on this. Also, the DXY. So this is what we've been watching here. Let me zoom in a little bit. First off, we've had this target here. Actually, it's going to be down just a little bit. Around 90 and then to the 157. 90.157. Uh, that would be the bottom of this wedge right here and if we look over last time we did a wedge like this you can see what happened after we bottomed out and then broke back through i do think we're going to see something similar to that here now that all changes if we do break below this trend line it could get ugly but as of right now this is what i'm looking for still could come down a little bit more and then probably a gradual move back up to the top of the wedge and then break out from there um as you guys can see, even if we do get down to this range, we'll still be making bullish divergence. We're making lower highs in the RSI, or I'm sorry, higher highs in the RSI, higher lows in the RSI, sorry guys, and lower lows in the price action that is bearish divergence. Now looking at gold, we have a possible target down here of 1736, looking at this as an ABC correction, and that would be using the Fibonacci extension tool and that's the one-to-one -one extension there at 1736. Um, we Although we could be done here, we did pop back above the 200 EMA. So we'll keep a close eye on that. Now, this is what I'm looking at now, guys. This is exactly where we're at. This is the one hour. So this is a smaller time frame. But let's take some measured moves here and see what we could be looking at. It does seem we are in a triangle here. The first measured moves we'll take is just the triangle measurement alone. And a break up from here, watch this top trend line, is going to be, depending on where it breaks, guys, it could be, you know, hours from now. It, it, no way to tell exactly when, but keep a close eye on it. If it was to break down here, it'd be somewhere around 19,350, a break above that. I'd be looking for approximately, uh, approximately 21,200 area on the break up from there. That's the bullish case. And if we looked at this whole thing as a bull flag, now a lot of people measure it all the way down to here. That's not how I do it. I measure it from the breakout, which was right here. And that would be the flagpole. And if we were to break out the, the other target, I would look for is around 22.1. And that's the bullish case. Now, if we do the same thing, looking at the bearish case scenario, a break of this 18.8, and we'll take a look at some other charts. We've been watching that 18.8. Uh, pretty closely but if we do break below that again then my target is going to be around the 16.9 to 17,000 first target and if this does seem to want to make a BART pattern we can still use that flag pull from the breakdown over here and that'd get us around the 16,000 um be careful here guys but this does look like like a great trade opportunity and if you are interested in trading I will leave a Prime XBT tutorial up top. It explains the leverage on this. A lot of people get confused about it. That's why I made the video. Also in that video, you can have a chance to win a $500 account. All you have to do is share and leave a comment. So check that out. But the reason I like this exchange, they don't trade against you. 
Um, you can trade Bitcoin, EAS, Ethereum, Litecoin, XRP, Forex, Gold, Silver, Oil, S&P, Dow Jones, all on one exchange. And you can put as many trades in as you want. They could be opposite of each other. It doesn't clump them all together. Check it out if you haven't already. And you can use my promo code SAVVY50. That will get you 50% on top of whatever you deposit as a bonus to use towards your margin up to one Bitcoin. SAVVY25 will get you 25% off your fees. All right, let's take a look. Now, you can see the blue triangle in here. That's the yellow one we just looked at on the hourly. This is just another way to look at the hourly here. And we're going to we're going to zoom in a little bit and see what's going on. So, we also have this trend line up top off of these two wicks. Um 2285 would be around where you would want to come up and retest this if that was the case. First, obviously, we have to break through the blue triangle and come up to the possible wedge here. Possible wedge is gonna be around 20,400, depending on where and when and if we hit it. Um, and again, the break below the 18.8 range is gonna get pretty ugly in my opinion, um, at least down to the 17,000, possibly lower. And let's take a look at some measured moves here. First off, we'll start with this big wedge, as you can see in the yellow dotted lines. If we were to break down from here, the measured move of that is going to be around 15,000 if we use the wedge. Now, if we break up past that 20,400 on the wedge, uh, we could be looking at possibly $24,000 Bitcoin. Um, we also have another measured move here and that is the measured move off of the breakout of this rising channel here and we had that around 22 also so just keep that in mind but as of right now these like i showed you the targets in the video before that's the um, more intermediate targets and then we're going to take a look at the bigger case here so definitely stick around first off we'll start with the four hour here if we have topped out here which is possible. Um, doesn't mean it, that we have, but it is definitely possible. As you can see, we have a rising wedge in yellow. We take a measured move and we break back down past that 18,000 range. The measured move of that gets us down to the 0 0.382 Fib. And these Fibonacci, this is the Fibonacci retracement from the swing high. Well, it starts with the swing low. And I used the swing low from 2018, which was 3,100, to the swing high up here. Our first line of support would be the 0.236 Fib, which is the 16,000, so that matches up pretty good. 0.382 is around 13,5. And if we retrace back to the 5, it'd be around 11,500. And then around the $9,200 range would be the Golden Pocket Retracement Zone, which would also line up with this top trend line that comes from way back. And that was the break. 0.786 is our next stop would be around 6,700 and after that, we could be looking at the same old lows again. Um, again, not say it's gonna happen, but be aware, it's definitely a possibility. If you guys are interested in helping the webpage out, check out my wife's webpage, inkyourimage.com. It's another way to help support the channel. She's got a lot of cool stuff on here. Um, a, lot of, a lot of great gifts for Christmas and whatnot, and it's actually quality stuff, guys. Check it out, it's not garbage. Um, a lot of Bitcoin stuff in there, t-shirts, coffee mugs, whatnot. Check it out and let's look at the daily. So on the daily, let me first off say we had some bearish divergence on the daily, lower highs here, higher highs here, that is bearish. And let's get that off of there real quick and look at these trend lines we have. They're all coming to this center peak right here. As of right now, this is the one we've been watching and 18.8 is an extremely important area. And I believe a one more drop below there, and I don't think we're going to be able to get back above. But we'll see what happens. But as of right now, the next trend line is going to be around the 22.3. If we get support off this 18.8 and continue up, again, that matches up with the other measured moves. So that is a possibility. And if in the bullish case, if that was to break, we'd be looking up towards the... 25,500 and after that we'd be looking for 30k plus if we break those if not if we break down back below this our 55 ema that you can see here also lines up at the top of this last trend line here which was the first one we had to break through 
Um, and that's going to be around the 16.4, 16.5 range, somewhere in that area, depending on where and when. And if that breaks, this rising wedge is where I'm looking to at least come back down and test the top of this wedge from where we broke out over here. And that would get us around the 16,000, which would also line up with the 0.236. Keep an eye on that. And then we've already looked at these retracement levels. And okay, let's take a look at the major bullish case targets. So looking at this, let me zoom out a little bit. Look at solid white trend lines as a symmetrical triangle. And where we broke out back here in August, our measured move is 28,000. Again, this is the bullish case. I'm going to show you my bearish case scenario also. So if we look at this top dotted trend line, that one matches up with the RSI here. And if we use the breakout from there, it gets us to about $30,300 range. Now, let's take a look at the RSI on the weekly. We had talked about breaking out of this weeks ago and it being bullish, and that's exactly what happened. Now it seems that we are making a rising wedge. I do believe that we'll come back down to retest the top of this wedge in the weekly, which could be as far down as the $11,000, $12,000 range. We'll see, we'll keep an eye on this. Make sure you're subscribed to stay updated. But a break back inside here, and I've talked about it forever, possibility coming all the way down to retest this on the weekly, this bottom trend line. Um, that's going to be interesting, and I'll show you what the bearish targets are in that case. But let me take a look at this chart real quick, and then we'll get into the um, Ledger Nano S winner also. But let's take a look at from swing high to swing high each time over here. Um, there's a market cycle, a 550-day market cycle. Um, look it up, check it out. But as you can see, these peaks on our 17 and our 19 highs were 556 days apart. And it doesn't have to be exactly 550. It's a, it's a range. Um, and then we look at the swing high from 19. So the swing high now, if this is the high, 524 days so we could go um actually right now we're further than further than that but um, we could go all the way to 55 so we could get one more leg up that is a possibility um and that, for all of you guys that have been watching my channel you know i sold all my bitcoin and i've been talking about since earlier this week keeping my bitcoin profits well i'm up to one bitcoin on my profits from trading right now and I'm actually contemplating selling that one, possibly today or tomorrow. I'll let you know what happens. But um, I do have a feeling we could be really topped out this time. But like I said, we could get one more leg up. But let's take a look at each time Bitcoin tops out here. And I do think we could see something like this. Um, another thing is a lot of people think that like back here, once we dropped through this 6,000, people thought we would never get back above it that year, and we blew right through it. People are saying the same thing about 15, 16, $14,000 range right now, that it will hold its support, and they're pretty much guaranteeing it, um, but that could cut right through like butter. Another thing I want to show you on this is low to low. This low here to this low here was 457 days. Now our 18 low from our 20 low was 455 days. That was two days different. So if we do the same thing again, let's say we go on to 457 days, would be around the end of June, or I'm sorry, the middle of June next year. So that's a good place I'm starting to look that I may buy back my um, HODL position and my Bitcoin back. That's the case. Even if we were to go higher here, I've protected my capital, so I've lost nothing. Um, if we do go higher here, this peak over here in 2022, even if we do bottom here, I think the next real high will be in 2022, towards the end of 2022 here. And like I said, even if it goes higher and I have to buy in higher, I'm not losing anything because if it does continue up, it should go 100,000, 80,000, somewhere in that range. And what's the difference if I buy now and it crashes and I'm screwed? Or, you know, if I wait and buy at 20, 30,000 and it's going that high, does it really matter? Not to me. I'd rather protect my capital. Um, let's take a look at one more thing here. 
This is a MACD indicator. And if you're interested, go up to your indicators on TradingView. If you don't have TradingView, I have a link down below, down below with a lot of other links you can use. Um, a lot of deals and whatnot. So check them out if you haven't. Well, let's go to the public library. It's the MACD custom indicator, multiple time frames here. Um, Chris Moody was the author. Check that out if you haven't. But let's take a look at the sell signals that it's given us on the daily. So as you can see here, um, it gave us our sell signal on the daily at the top of the 2017 bull run and our sell signal here at the top of 2019. And we had a sell signal here um, at the top of this one. Now, if this flips up in the daily, obviously it can erase it like it did here and then it continued back down. But as you can see where we're at right now, it does not look very bullish on the NV or I'm sorry, on this indicator. We're also going to take a look at the NVT, but first I want to look at this on the three day. Now three day, whoops, that's a three hour. I want three days. So three day, we still have not turned around in the three day. It is looking a little weaker, but as you can see, when we got three day crosses here, that was a definite, whenever the, that three day crosses, that's a definite top in my opinion. So keep an eye on that. If that three day does turn around and we get the sell signal, that is for sure the top here. So keep an eye on it. Let's look at the NVT. NVT, as you guys can see in a bull run, it's red. This is the weekly. Um, it Every time we get up above this signal line, the yellow signal line here, we do come back to test it. And it looks like this is around the time we come back to test it. If we get a bounce, that could be our next leg up. We break down below this and this turns blue again. And you can adjust these colors. I think normally it's white or gray. I turn mine blue. Uh, but if we break below this signal line here, guys, um, that could be pretty treacherous. We could be, you know, like I showed you, we could be continue down until June of next year. So be aware, be careful, keep an eye on that one hour I showed you in the beginning and let's pick our winner. So we're going to, I didn't make a video yesterday and five. So let's count back five videos. One, two, three, four, five, the must see Bitcoin update. Also, if you guys get on my YouTube channel here, I've got some tutorials down here. You might want to check out some on using EMAs and some other stuff. Check it out if you haven't. But let's see. Let's go on to this. We will copy the link address, pick our winner. I'm going to put the address in here. Get YouTube comments. And we got our comments. Let's go to start and pick our winner. It is Guy Sen Sensei. Say. Not sure if that's how you say it. I hope I didn't murder your name there, but uh, you are the winner. And I'm trying to see what did it say. It says, thanks, Savvy. You're welcome. Get a hold of me um, and I'll verify at you and get your Ledger Nano S sent out to you. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking your Crypto Savvy logo above my head. Smash that like button. Leave your comment down below. Thanks, guys. I'm out.